We got a little bit of snow, so we just gotta clear the sidewalk here in front of the shrine. So that way folks coming through don't, uh, don't slip. Yeah, this winter's been pretty mild, but uh, today it's actually winter, so. <laughs> but we'll take it, not too bad. Uh, so, back to it. John 21, 12 is one of my favorite Bible verses. Because in that, Jesus says to the, to the uh, disciples, come have breakfast. <laughs> so, yep. I love the Lord, therefore I love breakfast. Wow. We've got the orange juice routine here. This is the only regular part of breakfast. You're mixing up the frozen orange juice canisters into a liquid form so we can drink it. Wow. Science. <laughs> if you'll notice as I'm spreading my cream cheese, it has to be perfectly even. There we go. Some guys will uh, eat breakfast at St. John's where you take classes right before class time. Some guys like to have the extra prayer time. I definitely like breakfast. I like doing breakfast too. Look at this <laughs> breakfast of champions. Yeah. Wow. Maybe in my defense I'll say I don't want any leftovers to go to waste. Yeah. That's why I grabbed a slice of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our, our patristics professor called uh, St. Athanasius the honey badger saint. <laughs> what am I looking forward to this semester? I'm, I'm looking forward to another go. This being my, my second year in seminary. I've been through one year of it. And so last year during this time, uh, you know, had the spring semester with Lent, Holy Week, Easter, um, our fundraising event, uh, we call it the gala. And so I'm excited for another go at all of that. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm learning how to put prayer first in my life and how to uh, keep myself open to my brothers here. So I'm excited for, for another go this year to continue, continue growing. Cloth <laughs> He always says that. <laughs> we are getting a haircut today. Thank you to Brother Jonathan. And our patron. Patron, possibly maybe maybe future Saint Pope Saint Benedict the Sixteenth. Who knows? <laughs> Oops. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, I've grown out of the uh, like swooshing the bangs phase. Not really my style anymore. Straggler's there. The straggler's there. <laughs> <laughs> you are like furniture, Adam. <laughs> Time to dust me off. Now let me get dramatic. There you go. Yes, the responsibilities here at the house this semester include, for me personally, I'm in charge of our cars. So we have a number of cars that we all share together. Since we share all things in common, we don't have individual cars, but we have a number of cars at our disposal that if one of the brothers needs to go somewhere to class or to a parish or something, he'll be able to take that car. Along with having those cars is someone being responsible for their maintenance, their upkeep, making sure that they're clean and the inspections are done and all that. So that is my responsibility. All right, Andrew, uh, tell me about what, what you made here. So this is pan rustique. It's basically a giant ciabatta. Uh, so got a nice open crumb going on there. Uh, it's got a nice crunchy crust. 
kind of took all day to make, but we're excited to have it. I, I, I had, couldn't wait. I had to try some. Father Peter and I cut into it. Tasted amazing. So this will be good for dinner. And then over there, we got um, some milk bread that Brother Migo made uh, during the day as well. And it just, this looks insane. I can't wait to try this. Uh, it's usually really light and fluffy and kind of sweet. So, um, yeah. So here's the beast. This is the prime of the rib. Man. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> the coconut shrimp. So, it's once a year. Celebrating the priesthood. Oh, hey. Uh, this is. <laughs> What is happening today? So we're having a little dinner for some of our benefactors who support us at the gala. So I'm uh, doing some of the dishes, serving plates, and uh, getting everything ready. So we got a good, good meal for them. So we're here uh, doing a little modification to this stand here that we use for the Easter Vigil. Uh, normally it's, you know, it sits like this and then there's the bowl on top that holds the fire uh, for the Easter fire. And we want to add a little shelf in here to hold like lighter, taper, stuff like that. Uh, just that way we're not having to hold a thousand things in our hands and it'll look a little bit more uh, dignified. So. Bless us, the Lord, in these thy gifts, which are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On a day-to-day, week-to-week level, we also take care of cleaning the, the house. So we're on a rotating schedule, whether it's one week it might be mopping or doing cleaning the bathrooms or vacuuming but these are all necessary things to help us to make sure that the house is clean and in good working order. No, get, get a picture of all the good dishes. Really? <laughs> What's good? You're the intern, right? Always. So why are you guys all cleaning right now? Yes, every Wednesday is Mop Wednesday. 
So we do the dishes, get them done real fast, and then sweep the pantry, kitchen, small refectory, and mop the whole thing every mm. Wednesday. Is that why Wednesday's your favorite? Yes. I do love, you know, there's like pump day, but for us it's mop day. <laughs> It's cool, it's cool to do something all together like this. Yeah. I didn't realize that being on your phone is part of cleaning. You know what, being on my phone is essential to my cleanliness, okay? Let me just mop here. Oh. seminarian and outgoing priest. This year, Father John Luong, Father Jim Walter, and Deacon JR are leaving. So we are going to roast them. So we're trying to plan a skit. And uh, I think we got something, right? I think so. Yes. What do we have? Yeah, I guess I'm a seminarian, but first and foremost, I'm a religious brother. And it's like, I can live that out just as well here studying at St. John's as I can you know, in Holy Ghost as, you know, helping out for the summer uh, or, you know, I don't know, even if I'm home on vacation with my parents, you know, it's like I can, this is who I am. And so it, it kind of flows into and kind of supersedes all other parts of like what I'm doing because, uh, you know, the being is more important than the doing. And so in our culture and just my temperament, I can become very doing focused, you know, I'm sure you have plenty of shots of me doing doing all sorts of things around here, and I love doing that. Um, but the, the doing is not who I am, it's the being, it's, the, it's that, that identity as, as religious, as an oblate. I actually- I'll throw, I'll throw it all fancy too, like this. Yeah. Wow. Oh, good Bull guy. guy. Not quite. Where's that lens right there? <laughs> hey, what is this? NCIS. Oh, old crime show. <laughs> oh, it's real. <laughs> so we have this time every night. Yeah, it's, uh, maybe once a week that we'll watch TV. Yeah. Usually we're playing games, talking outside. Yeah, but all the other guys were doing. I don't know what. I couldn't find them. Okay, the light had just turned red. <laughs> you can see the light right there. Yeah, it's yellow. It's yellow at this that? point. When was that? Red. Red. Gosh, dude. <laughs> no, it was yellow. It was, isn't it, was, it red the entire time of the video? It, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was yellow for a slight second effort. Yeah.